Hello, my name is Jennifer and today's video is going to be a vlog. Yes, today's video is not gonna be me reading you Ayn Rand quotes or me pretending to be characters from Atta Shrug. This is just a vlog um, and there's gonna be very little rant talk in this video. Uh, mostly I just wanna come sit here and talk to you and tell you about some things that I've been doing lately, maybe talk about the channel a little bit and yeah, I mean, I think it's important to show that millennials who are fans of Iran have other interests in their lives besides Iran. Wait, do I have any other interests in my life besides Iran? Yes, of course I do. Drugs and clubbing. So let's go. I'm gonna take you to the club. Just kidding. The club is closed. You cannot, you cannot because social distancing. But if, if it was open, you, we would be there on the dance floor, twerking and dancing reggaeton. You know it. Just kidding. I mean, I do go to the club like every hundred years or so, but you know, it's, it's not a thing in my life anymore. I think I've outgrown those years. Anyways, before we get started, I need to get ready with that my wine and my cheese because it's the weekend so you gotta enjoy i suppose it is moments like this that i ask myself is drinking wine and eating cheese in my self-interest or am i just killing my liver and becoming a fatty those are the questions so first of all, why did I start this channel, Millennial Rant Fan? I don't know. I mean, I just had this idea that I wanted to make some sketches related to objectivism or Ayn Rand. And I thought, hey, this could be also a good opportunity to do other kind of videos about Ayn Rand. Some of them more educational, some of them more comedic. So it just became a thing. Like I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a channel. And hold on, because there's a noise. My little kitten, my new little kitten is playing with a box and being very dis disruptive. This little kitten, his name is Jackson or Jack. He's very new. I'm going to hold him like this so you can see him. <laughs> I'm Jackson. So he actually was a stray kitten. He, I found him in a neighbor's uh, backyard and the neighbor said that some stray cat had kittens and he wasn't planning on keeping them or anything. So I stole one of them. Um, he's six weeks old. There were other kittens there and I wanted to help them. I, I wanted to TNR, which is trap, release, neuter. But a few days after I got him, the other kittens disappeared. Hey, Jackson, stop playing. You're being disruptive. Gotta hide his toy away. Anyways, the other kittens are gone. If they show up again, I'm gonna try to uh, TNR them because it's really bad when, you know. Kittens, oh my God. When kittens are just out and about and reproducing irres irresponsibly. Um, he's not my only pet. I also have Dexter, but I will show you him later in a bit. So let's talk about this channel first. Um, I have a cool spicy video coming out about a hot topic in the objectives community or the Iron fan community. It's gonna be a little bit controversial and it's gonna be the next video I post after this vlog. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Uh, subscribe and everything. And yes. One second, my cat is going crazy. No, he's playing with the cable. <sighs> You're evil. Cheese break. Why does cheese and wine go well together? It goes well together. Mm. Anyways, um, this shirt, I don't think you can buy this specific shirt online, but you can probably find a shirt that says Red Iron Red. This shirt, I got it at my old job. They had a bunch of shirt shirts, like a stack of these shirts. I don't really know what they made them for, but you know, I got one from there. Also, another thing I wanted to talk about was my last video. My last video was a sketch about Edie Wheelers or, you know, Atlas Shrugged. And I wanted to say something about that. I, I don't mind acting in videos, but if I had a choice, I would prefer to have actors. Like, I put myself in my videos because it's the easiest, cheapest option. But if I had my way, I would put real actors there and just direct them. Because I don't necessarily love acting. I, I like doing some comedic acting, but, and I had some training. I actually studied, I studied acting several months um, in this thing called the 
the Actors Bootcamp in North Hollywood and you know I've taken other acting classes but I'm not a big fan of acting at least not serious acting comedic acting I like but yeah um, I would definitely prefer to have actors instead of myself uh, plus I'm not a guy like it's weird for me to be playing a male character okay another thing that's exciting for me this month is Halloween I never got to celebrate Halloween when I was younger because my parents were Christian and they just wouldn't let me go out do Halloween things so that's why now I really like celebrating Halloween whenever I can and I know there's COVID going on and everything but I do have some potential parties that I'm going to attend to so I've been working on my costume and I'm gonna give you a clue I've been making my costume myself this is part of the costume um, can you guess what it is it's something from Netflix <laughs> from a Netflix show what else what else oh yeah I really want to do a live stream on this channel you know just have a little combo with anybody who might want to join I just don't really know what how would be the best way for me to announce it like should I announce it on a video should I put it on Instagram I'm not really sure but I do want to do a live stream I think that would be fun to get to chat with anybody that's subscribed or anybody who's also a millennial Rand fan or I can also you know even if you're an older brand fan or even if you are one of those younger TikTok Ayn Rand fans I'm not on TikTok. I don't really know what I what I would do. Definitely not dances because they trigger me for some reason. Maybe I, maybe I would put my pets on TikTok, but I would TikTok dances. They just they trigger me. I'm sorry. More cheese. Cheese life. Today is Sunday. Although I'll be posting this maybe like on Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. But today is Sunday and I really want to get out of the house. You know, it's the weekend. So I'm probably going to go get some Taco Bell in like half an hour. Going to go buy a Mexican pizza. Dexter, come. Okay. This is Dexter. He is my sweetie. He has his own Instagram, actually. He knows how to do a lot of tricks that I taught him how to do. He's a little smooch. And yes, he's a objectivist. He's the cutest little sweetie in the world. And he gets along with his new friend, the kitten. They actually love each other. He's two years old. I've had him since he, was, what, since he was four months old. I got him from the shelter. He's a terrier mix. He's also part Chihuahua, part American Eskimo, and part Poodle. And he knows all the tricks. He can even wrap himself in a blanket if I tell him to. What else is there? Oh, I went pumpkin carving the other day. Uh, here's my pumpkin. Um, it was really fun. This is only like the, the third pumpkin I've done in my life. These are some of the other pumpkins I've done before. Some of them, I did it them at work uh, when I was working at the Iran Institute. But yeah, that was it for this video. It was a short video. I thought it would be longer, but I guess I just didn't have that much to talk about. And stay tuned for the next video. Uh, it's coming up very soon. Like I said, it's gonna be about a spicy subject in the objectivist community. So stay tuned. And yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>